welcome to my new video today and in this video is actually a continuation of um, the previous two videos on uh, missing values how to replace missing values using multiple mutations in uh, stata and uh, this video also is a special uh, a special video for a subscri one of the subscriber who asked about the the new generated or imputed data like where can you find it so in this video i'm going to illustrate that uh, or like it is an answer to that comment but still if you're new to this channel kindly subscribe you can go to my youtube channel search uh, axe data uh, axe data axe data analytics so we have a video on uh, how to replace uh, how to replace missing values with multiple mutation but one so you'll be able to see everything from from start uh, to the end thank you so uh, in this video i'm going to use uh, <coughs> uh, one of the data that is a uh, gender statistics from a uh, world bank it's a world bank data so i have information on the gdb employment rate and labor force so this is the data so i'm going to import this from a uh, from this uh, folder so it's under world bank data so just highlight that to click so for you to run out in both the data to uh stata you can watch my previous videos for instance the first video on uh, multiple mutation part one you'll be able to see out about this data so next i'm going to use um uh, since it is a, a dta data so i'm going to use a uh, uh, use uh, gender uh, so that's the name of the data is a uh, gender underscore mi gender underscore mi dot dta so it's a data format data so i just highlight that execute and then click uh, browse highlight and execute so you'll be able to see the data so this is the data it has three uh, variables and uh, actually 49 uh, observations so if i can uh, do a quick um uh, a quick uh, what a quick um a quick uh, analysis on this eh? so i can be able to say for instance if i want to do summarize can be able to do a summarize from this uh, end so you can be able to see gdp per capita it has photo observation mean we have this is the mean agreement rates and so on eh? so this is the mean of the uh, uh, the, the some descriptive statistic of this data mean standard deviation minimum value maximum value and uh, this is how you you obtain those uh, uh, summary statistic the mean standard deviation using summarize in a stata now uh, my main intention or my main aim today is uh, to work on these missing values as you can see on the employment rate uh, this employment rate and um, uh, employment rate and um, GDP per capita and labor force, we have some missing values. And the missing values in this case uh, are being identified by dots. So if you see a dot in the state of uh, format data or in the state, it means that this uh, those are uh, missing uh, values. Now, the next step that we are going to do is uh, to identify the missing values. Indeed, whether we have missing values in this uh, data. So in that case, I normally use this uh, M desk. So this is missing description. So in full, missing description of uh, data. So M desk. So just highlight that command and then uh, I execute. So boot that command, M desk, and then uh, I execute it. Eh? So if I do that, uh, you realize if you go back to our, our sort window, you can be able to see that. You can be able to see M desk and there's a description here. So like in this case for GDP per capita, we have nine missing values, employment rate we have 23, labor force we have 20, total it's supposed to be 49. So that's why like if you want to check the original observation in this data, you can use count, count command, and you press enter, you'll be able to see uh, 49 uh, observation in, in uh, this. So, uh, 
if we are going to do a, a multiple imputation, we are going to use multiple mutation. It means that it's like this thing is like a iteration. So you are doing some iterations, so you are adding new observation to this. Now, of course, maybe you will not be able to tell exactly this the uh, new added uh, observation to the data, but in short, new observations are going to be added to this data. So how do you know that you have new observation? This is how you know. First, just bear in mind that we have 49 observations in the original data. So we, we are going to cut out a multiple imputation, then later on, we'll check also count. You realize these observations are, uh, they are observations of, uh, have been added to this data. So that's why the original data, you can just scroll down and you can see we have 49 observations. So let us move on to a multiple mutation. First, we have to set this as uh, M wrong. So we we'll just write that. Now we are registering the mutant. So we have GDP per capita, employment rate, rate of So all those uh, variables with missing values, you register them at this point, a uh, second step. You do that. And now if you move to the, uh, sorry, did not found. Sorry, there is a problem here. So this GDP is um, really GDP uh, capital. Uh, and we have uh, just for the employment rate. Then the last one is the uh, labor force. So I think I changed that, those uh, variables. But at the same time, I can uh, let me remove these observations and they paste them here, control V. And I do the same, same to this, control V. And I do the same, same thing to, uh, to this one. Eh? this control v. so if we do control c so that's at this stage as i was saying we have to register those imputed uh, variables at this that we are going to mute uh, that's how uh, you that's the command for that so i just i write that and excuse you can see we have registered those variables now zero observation now mark this in complete so if you look at this data, you can be able to see there are some new columns that have been added to this. So MI means so on one, and zero zero and so on. So the next step is to impute. Now we are going to cut out multiple imputation eh, using uh, this uh, multifold normal distribution eh, MFN. Eh. Uh, so at this point, I'm using ten imputations as my pilot. So remember at this point, I don't know how much imputation are required for this data. But I'm using ten as my, uh, as my what? As my um, as my pilot imputation, and I'll see it. At this case, you can set n. So this actually helps us uh, maybe need a normalization to help us from uh, having maybe a different result from each and every. Like if you are doing the same and uh, and like you're this or about randomization. Uh, so if you are uh, you don't uh, set this. Uh, I'll see the random seed to be the same, so you obtain different observations. So it means the observation that you are going to that are going to be muted and this data will differ from your friend. So it's good to set the same uh, uh, random seed so that you can be able to have the same observations. So the next I have to I write this and execute. So we'd have to wait for some few minutes. So that you can we can have for the imputation of this data good now you can see it has performed uh, the imputations and now uh, this is the result to that so you can see it is the result and now you can see from this case we have complete data 40 uh, 26 uh, that's 7 in complete get 9 23 9 12 so we have muted 9 observation 23 for employment rate labor force 12 so the total we have 49 uh, to this uh, data so we have through multiple imputation we have added these uh, uh, these values observations have been imputed now if at this point if i check now the observation it means if i go to the data right now if i move to my data this is the data and let's scroll down eh? so you'll see initially we had uh, 49, uh, 49 observations eh? but you see 
we had from now we have from 50 all around to uh, around um, you can see the observation have been added so it means in these multiple mutations new observations are being added to the data so that's how because that's how you can see now in this data we don't have any missing value anywhere so like it, i mean that uh, it has been these missing values now that we had at this uh, point they have been imputed eh? using that multiple mutation so in the short new observations are being added and for you to check that as i was saying earlier you can use uh, count eh? count so if you use count you realize now we have uh, 279 uh, observations so initially we had uh, 49 uh, you see initially we had 49 observations but now we have uh, uh, 279 observations that's how you see that's how you can cut out multiple mutation and uh, you see the the idea is uh, the idea is that uh, using this multiple mutation new observations are being added to the data but this is not the last uh, thing eh? the last step to this is the number of uh, imputations eh? remember we used 10 uh, spirals eh? so we need to be sure the exact um, the exact amount of, of uh, imputations that will give us um, uh, the, the, like the the standard error maybe it would be it will give us uh, a precise a precise output when maybe we are only going to do regression analysis so for us to to know the exact amount of mission to use in this we need to do that to predict this uh, by using a uh, your regression eh? uh, using regression so in this we are going to do mi uh, estimates regression on gdp employment uh, rate and labor force so we're going to call regression analysis at this point eh? we skew that and now you see you'll be able to have a multiple uh, linear regression eh? like employment based uh, gdp as independent variable and the employment rate and the labor force as the independent variable and as you can see both have significance to this eh? now the next step after you do this regression you do prediction by regression is to run uh, use the command and um, how many uh how many mutations eh? how many mutations so that's how the only way you can get the uh, exact imputation needed so you run this command so in my previous video the first video you run out to, uh, to install the packages so i have when in my videos i have uh, illustrated now to install this uh, package just like that so you realize uh, now if i execute this uh, command <coughs> how many mutations so you see i love some table here imputations in the pilot so we have 10 imputations needed 180 imputation to add 170 so it means we are going to add 170 more imputation to this so that you can have a precise uh, uh, results in our maybe if you're going to do analysis and so on so to do that uh, to make your work easy is to come back to this uh, do file and I'll just uh, copy paste this, eh? paste this, copy paste that, and now you rerun. Eh? Now rerun, eh? rerun, eh? rerun till result, eh? rerun that, then eh? control V. So after this, now in this case, I'll use um, 100 and what? 170, because this is what I'm supposed to add. If you do this, eh? you will. Eh? So it work out. So it's working out. So that's how, uh, in short, that's how you will be able to know the exact amount of mutation needed. So you do to you have to predict the y, which is the in short the dependent variable. You have to predict is a. Uh, uh, when the file we're using regression, then uh, at this, then you run this command how many mutations, and you run the mutation using the exact amount of uh, uh, mutations. So, like in the other one, we had 10, so we add 107 to 10 to make it 108. Or than that, free, you can uh, at this point you can uh, edit this, or you go back to your uh, you go back to to actually to uh, the what 
uh, at this point you start everything like from this point from point a to this point but when it reaches here now at this point i are able to use a uh, hundred and uh, ha observation so i mean invitations so that's how we be able to add the exact invitations to this uh, data so in short uh, this is how you cut out multiple mutations and the idea that we have gotten from this is that once you cut out multiple mutations new observations are being added to data and to do that you can just highlight you can just uh, use count uh, command uh, to uh, to do that so you can see on uh, uh, mutations like the one now for 170 so you can see added 170 mutations 180 updated zero iterations we have 17,000. so uh mutations um mutations done what that muted 9 23 the same same but you can see in this data now uh since the iterations you can see they are almost 17,000. now the new data has 4178 observations so if i cut out now uh, summarize uh, of that data you will see uh, that the summary will be uh, different from the initial one that had no missing value so that's how you can be able to observe that now this new data has 4180 observations yeah that's it i think you've enjoyed uh, this uh, uh, short session uh, thank you for watching and uh, kindly share and see you next time